The Christmas countdown is in full swing and we are getting you into the holiday spirit. One way to get into the spirit of the season is to give back and you can do that by giving to the Salvation Army red kettles that are set up around town. Here to join us to discuss how you can give back and donate is Major Russell Chakowsky. Good morning. Good morning. So good to see you. So I know that the red I kettles... I love the sound of Christmas. So do I. I love the sounds of the Christmas kettle. Yes, it's a, it's, 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 it's a great time of the year. They're all around town and now, well, now there's way more ways to give than ever before. How's the campaign going so far? Well, the campaign is, is going, going a little bit slower than normal years, uh, but Corpus Christi is a uh, very, very giving town and uh, uh, God is gonna bless our efforts again this year. The Salvation Army has a new twist this year. They have placed smart chips and QR codes on the red kettle sign. So talk to us more about that. How does that work? It's pretty amazing. Uh, 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 I've noticed uh, this year when I go to restaurants, you can click on a QR code and pull up the menu. It's more or less the same on the Christmas kettle. Uh, on the stand, there's a little QR code. Uh, you place your camera there. You uh, your, your camera takes a little logo on it and automatically a, a giving page comes up and uh, it gives you opportunities to give to the Salvation Army here in Corpus Christi. How does the Salvation Army determine where the funds raised will be used? It, it's automatic uh, according to the zip code on, on the giver. Uh, it goes to the, that, that same zip code. How can someone volunteer and uh, be a so part of So all the it? funds, well, uh, you, can, you can volunteer by uh, uh, calling our office. Uh, uh, you can get your uh, special groups together. Uh, we had our Rotary Club uh, ring last week. They rang for one day and they collected over $15,000. That is amazing. So is there an age requirement for the bell ringers? <clears throat> Uh, we ask them uh, if they're under 16 years old, uh, they have to be with a parent. Um, and that's very, very important uh, uh, for safety. I think that's the best way to do it, to get your family out there to help, and of course your friends as well. Uh, Major Russell Chikowski, thank you so much for being with us this morning. And remember, if you see the red kettles out there, give as much as you can. The Salvation Army does so much for our community. Thank you so much for being with us this morning.